Hi everyone and welcome. We're out here in my garden and I figured before we check in on my outdoor worm bin I'd just give everyone a quick little glimpse of how my garden is doing. Last year I did prepare an entire series of videos updating how I built and then maintained my garden all season long but this year I just decided that was a bit too much work and that I was going to skip it this year. But nevertheless I'm still gardening, putting all my worm compost to good use out here. But our real reason for coming out here today is to check in on my outdoor worm bin. So now it's been a week since we last checked in on this container. And frankly I don't think it's going to be necessary to feed this bin. Sorry, I'm just trying to take care of a predatory creature that I saw roaming around in here. It's a... Uh, centipede fast mover they do prey on the eggs i believe or cocoons of worms so they're not the best thing to have inside of a worm bin but we are outside so it's fair game i think i even saw a cricket in here before but i don't really think we're going to be feeding today because i did provide a fairly generous portion of food last week but it was an interesting thing so but i think a lot of people might want to see how how it's progressing after one week's time so Let's get the camera in a little bit closer to see what we've got. The container that we've got this bag propped up on is the old garbage pail that the outdoor worm bin used to reside in. That just gives it a little bit more height so I don't have to lean over and just a little bit easier for the camera to get a view of what's happening in here. Wow. <laughs> Look at that pit. That's fantastic. This is one week of activity in the worm bin. I've got a couple worms hanging out here on the plastic, but I'm not going to be here long, so I'm just going to leave them be. And we're going to see if we can find any remnants of what this food item was. And I'm wondering if you can tell just from looking at what it was. In case you didn't get a chance to see it, I, uh, I could put a link to the video from a week ago when we put the food in here. Um, so I invite you to go check that out for sure. And it was at that time we rummaged around within the bin and noticed that it was a little bit dry in here. And that was why we had placed almost half of a watermelon in here. I imagine that that watermelon would provide a nice ample supply of moisture into this bin to try to compensate for what I was seeing as perhaps a bit dry material. So as I start to just scoop around the outer edge, I'm still finding the material to be nice and loose and flaky, which like I said last week is the way I like it. But some people might consider that to be a, a little bit more dry than the worms would like. Here's one of our test objects. It's pure luck now, I think, that three videos in a row we've been bumping into the cork. That must mean there's also the, yep, the pumpkin stem couple slow composting items we've just been checking in on periodically well, let's see how this uh let's see how this watermelon is faring I mean I'm, I'm definitely seeing chunks of its rind with absolutely no pink or red fleshy part of the melon remaining oh see now we're getting down to the lower section where now we can see clear signs of the watermelon now I was beginning to think just from the initial glance that they might have actually burned through the whole thing but if you watch the video from last time you will see that it was a pretty good size um, piece of food that was put in here substantially more than what they would normally get if I was just giving them a an everyday feeding certainly worms all over the place here's another test object a peach pit <laughs> all kinds of funny items but look at that beautiful job that they've done skimming out that soft fleshy part of the melon and even nibbling off the outer edge of the melon and a lot of the surrounding castings and especially the stuff i skimmed off the top of it are nice and damp too which is kind of what i was after to try to compensate for what I was seeing to be somewhat dry material. 
underneath the melon we had placed in a number of leaves off of a uh, off of a horseradish plant that was given to me it was given to me whole so it was uh, not only the roots that I needed to put into the ground to plant but it came with the entire stalk of leaves and the whole plant basically uprooted so the the roots got planted in the in the pot that I had set aside for them but all the leaves and stems and everything like that or at least the leaves ended up in here as food the stems I put into my other outdoor worm bin to continue so I'm trying to gauge in terms of how much I gave them and you could sort of see the cut here the cut here so if it had been a full half of a melon it would go sort of like this but there was a wedge carved out of it so it was maybe about you know maybe a little bit less than a half that was given to them but they are making really terrific progress on this and obviously this is the place of interest this is what they're definitely digging right now but there's also definitely leftovers of the leaves and stuff they received from last time so I really didn't anticipate the need to feed these guys I was just really interested in seeing how much of a, a dent that they would have put into this melon that I gave them a week ago and they they're definitely doing a great job ripping it to shreds and those castings that we saw in the beginning left behind were just gorgeous too so I'm wondering if maybe the one thing that I could throw in here might be a handful or two of bedding and I could just go grab a pile of leaves from a little a little pile that I see over here next to me in the in the corner piled up against the fence and I think that'll serve as pretty good bedding to throw in here to go hand in hand with the food that they've already got. So why don't I go ahead and grab grab some of that and we'll throw it in here. Well, it's definitely a nice, generous portion. And I'm sure it's not going to obstruct the worms from getting at what they're really interested down below, which is the, the melon itself. My hope is that along the way they'll also dig into the leaves. And I'm wondering now, you know, if we wait another week, what can we expect? I have a feeling that there's really not going to be a great deal of that melon remaining when we get back in here. So, so we'll cover things back up here the way we found them. I haven't really been taking much care and keeping these test items in any particular place but what the heck as long as they're here I'm just placing them right over where the feeding zone is and we can start returning some of these castings to the uh, the pile I love this material I just really like the loose flakiness of it because in contrast in my indoor bins I've got way too much moisture in my bins and they're just um they're just kind of sticky and muddy but here the stuff doesn't stick to your glove it just pops right off doesn't stick to itself this is really what I wish all my bins looked like as far as the consistency of the castings so I'm glad we checked in when we did because I've got a feeling that if I had waited say till day 10 after giving them that melon we may not have seen very much at all but at least this way we're able to see a good portion of the melon maybe a quarter of what they were Maybe a third of what they were given originally still remains. So I think as far as a food supply is concerned, they're, they're still in good shape. Like I anticipated, there's no need to feed this bin today. We really just checked in, mainly out of curiosity to see how that melon is progressing. And I'm glad we were able to add a little bit of bedding too, so that's going to help as well. So... I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to put this thing back where I found it and everything else, clean up out here, but that's not exciting. I'll just leave it at that. Before I go, though, let me say thank you. Thanks for keeping me company and watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, and I hope you did, then please remember to give me a quick thumbs up. That's really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, also consider subscribing to the channel, too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.